All right, guys, so today we're going to be making some art with big markers. All right, so here are the colors that I got um, in my big marker set. I believe it was a set of 34 for about 13 bucks on Amazon. I was a big fan of the colors. They were so, so bright and I love the pastels. They each had different names on them that I thought was pretty fun and pretty cute. Um, my favorite was the margarita green and the hot. I did do color swatches to see if the tops actually matched the markers. And they did for the most part. Um, all of the colors that came were so vibrant and so pretty. And they actually matched pretty good. So I was quite impressed. I think the only ones that didn't match as well were the purples. Um, the lavender, which is one of my favorite colors. It wasn't actually as lavender as light lavender as I wanted it to be, but it was okay. Um, for the skin tone markers or the markers that I put aside as skin tone markers, they um, they did match their tops pretty well. And I feel like for 13 bucks, you could definitely make do with these markers for skin tones. So for my sketch, I definitely had to speed this up because y'all, it takes me forever to make a sketch. Like I will work on the face forever and I probably change how I have my hands and my feet so many times so I definitely had to speed this part up I wanted to make sure I made like a really cute girl that I could sort of use a lot of my a lot of the pastel colors on because I love pastel colors and I wanted to you know put her in something really cute and I wanted to make sure it was actually like a fun pose instead of my regular fashion illustration poses that I literally draw without even thinking. So um, being able to just draw without it having to be for fashion is probably um, a really good challenge for me because most of my stuff is for fashion. So um, I actually had to really think like, let's put her in a fun pose that, um, you know, just something that was easy and not so, which would be easy but because I'm always doing fashion illustrations it's actually hard for me um, to think of ones and different stuff so I definitely use Pinterest for references a lot but I'm actually proud of myself because this time I did not use Pinterest I literally went off the top of the dome so I was pretty proud of myself um, and then I stuck with my short hair. As I've said before, I love to do um, short hair styles and I just feel like they're just way cuter and it doesn't take so long to color them. And um, I felt like just giving her like a cute little wavy bob that looks like it's sort of floating, which I'm still working on how to make my hair have that floating vibe to it. So uh, I'm still working on that. But um, yes, I definitely wanted to give her some cute. Um, there are these sandals that I love that are out right now. Um, and they're the platform sandals. I want to say Jesus sandals, but I'm not gonna say that. But <laughs> that's what they sort of look like. Um, but they have like the really cute big platform on it. It's usually white, and then the top ones um are like different colors and stuff. And I think um. I know Gucci has some that are really, really cute with like the jewels on top. Like I want those shoes so bad, even if I find like an off brand, cause I'm not that big on fashion brands, like wearing them per se. So, um, I was like, those would be some cute shoes to put her on. Um, and then just making a cute, just easy dress for her to wear nothing too much um, because I can get so technical into what my details with clothing because that's what I do. So I was like, let's just look, you know, let's just try to put her in an easy dress, nothing too much. And um, I, I sort of liked how it came out. Um, I definitely used um, Drawn With Waffles method of doing that little um, zig, well, not a zigzag, but I can't remember what reference she actually used, but it's how you can make the frills at the, the ruffles at the bottom of your skirt. Um, and it is, it makes it just so easy. And it's just a little wave that just, you know, you're just going up and down and it just makes it easier to give that realistic look to your skirt. All right. So I added some cute little headphones and let's get into this line art. So with my line art, um, I do take my time with my line art because it 
has to be perfect. If your line art, in my opinion, if your line art is sloppy, then your picture is going to look sloppy. So I really do take my time with my line art. And I really would say that out of drawing, this is probably the scariest part of your drawing. And that's because you really want those lines to be as neat and, you know, as straight as they're supposed to be. Like, yeah, like, listen, it's, it's, it's like the scariest part because you like you can be, oh, this picture is just so cute. You know, you got your pencil, you know, your your pencil in and everything and you're going to get ready to, you know, get your line art in and you can end up messing up, you know, on the arm or something and it can throw off the whole picture. So you definitely have to take your time with the line art. So um, I as I was um, doing mine, like I really was getting into the girl. I was like, oh my gosh, she looks so cute and so just, you know, easy, nothing too technical, but really, as y'all can see, I love the word cute, but she just looks so cute. Like I love how it came out. So this is a girl that I did and she's also um, one that I colored with the big markers there was as well. But guess what? While I was recording, I had my camera, because I do record on my iPhone, I had the camera turned on the ceiling instead of on her. So I messed up my whole recording of her, but she's still cute, you know, and she turned out pretty cute. But yes, um, so I am using um, the back, Using I turned it over just so I could use the back of it so that I don't get any smudging. Um, because when you're doing the line art, these are, um, actually Sharpie liners that I'm using and they do take a little, like just a little bit of time to dry. And I like to try to make sure that I get the least amount of smudging on my papers because it's not a drawing. It's not one drawing that I've done that I didn't get a little smudge. Okay. Especially when I get to, um, using the kneaded eraser and I start to, you know, thinking that it might be dry. And so I start erasing too early. Yeah. 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 That part. Ooh, I suck it to me like you want to. Ooh, I can take it like a pro, you know, do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like a disco. I be popping ish like some Crisco. And all you gotta say is miss it go. And when you say go, I won't move slow. Uh -huh. Suck it to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I suck it to me like you tell me to. Ooh, uh, I can take it like a pro, you know. Uh, you know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. Hey. My hormones jumping like a disco. Hey. I be popping mess like some Crisco. All you gotta say is miss it go. But when you say it, no, I won't move slow. No. To perfection, just you and me. Let's see if you can bring, bring, bring the nasty out of me. Let them, them, them suck it. Ooh, I suck it to me like you tell me to. Ooh, I can take it like a pro, you know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like a disco. I be popping mess like some Crisco. All you gotta say is miss.
right so we are midway through our colors and um i do like how even as i'm coloring it's not so much streaking there is a little bit but it's not that bad um i do love the colors i actually wanted to almost do her in all type of different colors of purple but i was like this is not a purple challenge this is um making art with big markers okay so let's make sure we're using all of our colors not just the purples because um for some reason the purple colors were sticking out to me even though they weren't um, matching that well to the tops um, and I definitely went with um, turquoise hair why not why not go with well actually that's like a more of a mint green but why not I love colored hair like it's it's just so much better than black or brown no direction I'll be out of control let's take it to perfection just you and me let's see if you can bring 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 the nasty out of me let them them the suck it ooh I suck it to me like you want to ooh I can take it like a pro you know do a long throw with the backstroke my hormones jumping like a disco I be popping mess like some Crisco All you gotta say is miss it go And when you say go I will move slow Like you want to, ooh. I can take it like a pro, you know. Do a long throw with the backstroke. My hormones jumping like a disco. I be popping ish like some Crisco. And all you gotta say is miss it go. And when you say go, I won't move slow. Uh -huh. Suck it to me. Ooh, I suck it to me like you want me to. Ooh. I can take it like a pro, you know. A long throw with the backstroke. Hey. My hormones jumping like a disco. Hey. I be popping mess like some Crisco. Hey. All you gotta say is miss it go. Hey. But when you say it, no, I'm So here is my girl. 
um i do love how she came out i wish i could have added a bit more shading to her legs but it turned out pretty good um so you guys thank you for watching and please make sure that you come back and draw with me soon Thank <laughs> you.